Majority of America is on Pennsylvania's travel advisory list. If you go to any of the 34 states on the map right there on your screen, Pennsylvania leaders say you should stay home at least two weeks after you get home. But with cases rising in Pennsylvania, we're now seeing the other side of this. Yeah, that's right, David. Other states are now putting out advisories about travelers from Pennsylvania. This map behind us, it shows us all of the places where Pennsylvania yeah. travelers have to quarantine. Lisa includes seven states and Chicago and Washington, D.C. And this could impact so many local families as they are making their plans for the holidays. Tonight, our Ryan Houston talked to people who are getting creative to keep up the spirit of Thanksgiving despite the pandemic. You kind of start the Thanksgiving dinner one place and somebody calls and you say, hey, you know, you got some sweet potato pie. Um, I got some pound cake. OK, I'm coming over here. But Dr. Validia Giddon says her Thanksgiving holiday won't be like that this year. For Thanksgiving, she normally hosts her entire family, church members and some co-workers. I was there and I was available, but we know under these current circumstances with numbers going on the rise, this is not the time to introduce new people into your environment. Since the pandemic hit, her immediate family started meeting every Sunday for dinner. And those are the only people who will be allowed at the Thanksgiving table this year. I know for me personally, it makes me certainly feel very isolated and it makes you feel limited. It's my favorite holiday of the year, so I'm very uh, disappointed. Jeremiah Boland says his family is doing Thanksgiving on Zoom. One person will cook the food, then people will come and grab a plate and take it home and they will eat together in front of a computer camera. I have one niece who is a physical therapist for COVID patients, so she can't come and I have two quite elderly relatives, they can't come. So we just decided there was too many at risk people uh, in our families. New CDC guidelines recommend just that. Health officials suggest people with COVID-19, those with symptoms of the virus, people waiting on test results or have been exposed should not attend small holiday gatherings. And if you plan to attend a gathering, the CDC says you should check the COVID-19 infection rates in the area. Limit the number of people host outdoor rather than indoor, and wear a mask. And for the full list of CDC guidelines when it comes to holiday gatherings, just head over to the WPXI News app. David, Lisa.